You're getting to be a big boy. I'm just a kid who's four. Each day I grow some more. I like exploring. I'm Caillou. So many things to do. Each day is something new. I'll share them with you. I'm Caillou. My world is turning, changing each day. With mommy and daddy, I'm finding my way. Growing up is not so tough. One day, Caillou and Leo went shopping with their mothers for a very special gift. Do you think Clementine would like this for her birthday? Yeah, she loves modeling clay. We've decided to give her this puzzle, right, Leo? Leo? If it was my birthday, I'd want this. A rocket ship! Wow, it comes with astronauts and everything! Would Clementine like that? I don't know, but I do. Can I have it? Please? Me too! I want one! We're here to buy gifts for Clementine, remember? That's right, Leo. I only plan to buy one toy today. And it's not your birthday. But can I buy it myself? I still have some money Grandpa gave me. It isn't quite enough, honey. Wait, I have money too. Why don't we put our money together and buy one rocket ship to share? Yeah. I still don't know about this. It's hard to share a toy when you don't live in the same house. But we're great at sharing. I can have it one day and then Leo can have it the next day. Yeah, and then you can have it back again and we'll keep sharing it. And who will get it first? Me! Uh, you can have it first. Yeah. Oh, whoa! Careful, Caillou. Remember, it's Leo's rocket ship, too. I know, but it's not his turn until tomorrow. Tonight, it's all mine. <laughs> Wow, a spaceship! It's a rocket ship! Leo and I bought it with our own money. I can't wait to show it for show and tell. Hi, Clementine. Hi, Caillou. Yay, you brought the rocket ship. It'll be great for show and tell. But I was going to show it. But today is my turn, remember? Oh, right. Okay. Mission control to Caillou. Is the rocket ship ready to go into orbit tonight? No. No? Why not? Leo has the rocket ship. It's his turn. It's not fair. He always has the rocket ship when I want it. <laughs> always? But you got it just yesterday. It'll be your turn again tomorrow, Caillou. And you'll see Leo before Clementine's party. Maybe you can both play with the rocket ship. Yeah, okay. There, the astronaut's ready for his spacewalk. Okay, but first I want to land on the moon. But we can't. A rocket ship uses a runway to land. But it's a pretend rocket ship. I know, but we should still make a runway. It's more real that way. <sighs> okay. There. That's a great runway. I'll get the rocket ship. Why 
did you give it to her? I didn't. She took it. Well, you should have been more careful. Now it's all messed up. It's time for Clementine's party. Are you ready to go have fun? I yeah. guess. They don't sound ready for fun. Ah, I think I know why. Why don't you walk the boys over to the party? Rosie and I have a little cleaning to do. Right, Rosie? Rosie, no scribble? No, not on other people's things. <laughs> my turn, my turn. <laughs> Clementine's party was wonderful, but Caillou wasn't having any fun. He thought Leo was still mad at him, and this made Caillou feel bad. He didn't know Leo was feeling bad, too. Mommy? How come you're here early? I brought you something. I thought you and Leo might want to see it. The scribbles are gone! Rosie and I cleaned it up for you. Thank you, Mommy. Leo, look! The rocket ship's okay. Wow! It looks like new. I'm sorry it got messed up. That's okay. Um, maybe we should keep it at your house from now on. No, it's okay. You keep it. Really? Don't you like it anymore? Yeah, but it's making us mad at each other. And I don't like that. Me neither. So, who should take the rocket ship? I know. Ooh. This one's for me and Leo. <gasps> a spaceship. Wow, thanks. Yeah, a spaceship. We knew you liked it. You should try landing it on a runway. It's more real that way. Caillou and Leo realized their friendship was much more important than a toy rocket ship. Coach Grandpa. Caillou was playing soccer with his biggest fan, Grandpa. Good kick, Caillou. You know, I used to play soccer when I was your age. <laughs> One time, I finagled the ball away from the other team and kicked it high into the air. Then what happened, Grandpa? It bounced off the goalpost and flew right back at me. Then I had to use my noggin to score a goal. <laughs> I wish I could be a great soccer player like you. Well, I think you're doing just fine, Caillou. Now let's see if you can score on your old grandpa. Ready or not, here it comes. Go! You two better get going or you'll be late for soccer practice. Okay, bye, Mommy. I hope my new coach is as much fun as you, Grandpa. Oh, I'm sure he will be. Did you remember to bring our frozen juice pops for after practice, Grandpa? Of course. Now go join your teammates. I've got some things to get out of the car. Hi there. Hey, hey Caillou. Caillou. Where's our new coach? I don't know, but I hope he's fun. Meet your new coach. Grandpa? Caillou was surprised and happy that Grandpa was his new coach. It made him feel very special. You know, I used to play soccer. One time, I finagled the ball away from the other team and kicked it high in the air. And then what happened? Caillou suddenly didn't feel so special. He thought Grandpa's soccer stories were just for him. It bounced off the goalpost and flew right back at me. So I used my noggin to score a goal. Oh, right. 
right. <laughs> okay, now everyone grab a ball and get out of the field. Yeah, let's play! What are you waiting for, champ? Nothing. Way to go, soccer star! Caillou felt happy to show Grandpa what a good soccer player he was. Way to go, champ! <gasps> Leo, you're up! Caillou was surprised. Grandpa was doing their special high five with everyone. He was only supposed to do that with Caillou. Okay, team, let's see you pass the ball back and forth. Good kicking, Caillou. Now pass the ball. Come on, pass it. But Caillou didn't want to pass the ball. He wanted to score a goal, so his grandpa would be proud of him. Woohoo! I did it, Grandpa! I scored a goal! That's nice, Caillou, but you were supposed to be practicing passing, not scoring goals. Great practice, everyone! Now, who wants frozen juice pops? I do. Me, 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 me. But, Grandpa, there are only two juice pops. One for me and one for you. Don't worry, Caillou. I brought enough for everyone. Your Grandpa is so cool, Caillou. Caillou wasn't so sure he liked having Grandpa for his coach, even if the rest of his team did. How was practice, Caillou? Fine. Caillou, why don't you tell Rosie one of Grandpa's soccer stories? I don't remember any. Gee, Caillou, you don't seem very excited. But we are. We're all coming to watch your first game tomorrow. Aren't we, Rosie? Yeah! Game! You'll play goal today, which means you'll try to keep the ball out of the net. Okay? Yeah! Clementine and Jason, you'll play forward, which means you'll try to score goals. Caillou and Jeffrey, you'll play defense, which means you'll help Leo protect the net. But, Grandpa, I want to score goals, just like when we play. Don't worry, Caillou. Everyone will get a chance. <whistles> Get after it! That's it! Kick it away! No, the other way! Uh? Don't worry, team. Just get back out there and have fun. Caillou was upset that the other team had scored a goal. Then Caillou got his big chance to kick a goal. That's Go it, Caillou! Caillou! You got it, Caillou! Now kick it! Yay, Caillou! Caillou was upset. He didn't want to play soccer anymore. Time out! Hey, champ. What's up? I'm no good at soccer. Oh, I don't agree. You may not have scored a goal, but your shoe sure did. Grandpa, you do high fives and eat juice pops with everyone. Those are supposed to be our special things. Oh, I see. Caillou, when I'm coach, I have to treat everyone the same way. That's part of my job. But I'm also Grandpa, which means I'm always proud of you. See this? This is a special soccer medal I won when I was your age. I want you to have it, so you'll always know I'm proud to be your Grandpa, even when I'm your coach, too. Thanks, Grandpa. I'm glad you're my coach. And I'm glad you're my Grandpa, too. Good. Now get back out there and have fun. Caillou realized his Grandpa could be his coach and his grandfather and one of his biggest fans. The 
safety helper. Okay, everyone, circle time. <laughs> circle time! <laughs> Caillou loves circle time. Miss Martin always made it so much fun. Today I'd like to talk about all the things we can do to play safe at preschool. Can anyone tell me one of our safety rules? Clementine? We keep our shoelaces tied so we don't trip. Right. What else do we do? Walk in the halls, don't run. Only go down the slide feet first. And wait until the person in front of you is out of the way so you don't land on them. Right. Those are great safety rules. I forgot about some of them. <laughs> we all need reminding sometimes. So, one of you is going to get a special job today. I need a safety helper. Who'd like the job? You'll get to wear this badge and whistle, and you'll help all of us to play safe. Caillou thought being a safety helper sounded like fun. Caillou, come on up here. Congratulations! You're my very first safety helper. Remember, if you see something that looks unsafe, blow your whistle, okay? Okay. Caillou was proud of his special job. He liked helping Miss Martin. And he loved blowing his whistle. Someone could slip on the chalk. Oops. Thanks, Caillou. <gasps> Careful! Your laces are untied. Whoops. You're right. Hey, Jason, watch this. Jeffrey, that's not safe. It certainly isn't. Remember to come down the slide feet first, Jeffrey. Sorry, I forgot. Good work, Caillou. What did I ever do without you? Being the safety helper is great. I did such a good job that Miss Martin gave me stickers, and she even let me bring the whistle home. That does sound like a great job. It's safer to take small bites. <laughs> I suppose you're right. But no whistle at the table, okay? Okay, but can I use it later? I have to practice. Look, this stool isn't safe. You're right. It is wobbly. Good thing you noticed. Use my scissors. They're safer than grown-up ones. <laughs> Thank you, dear. It's not safe to have toys on the stairs. Come on, let's make a bus stop in the living room. <laughs> okay, Caillou. Hey, Caillou. That's enough safety proving for one day. Bedtime. Oh. You'll need your sleep to be a good safety helper tomorrow. Oh, Miss Martin, I thought of another safety rule. Did you? Let's hear it. Be careful with scissors. Good one. You've been such a great safety helper, Caillou. But now it's time to choose today's safety helper. So, who'd like to wear the safety star? My Me. turn! My turn! How about Leo? Woohoo! There you go. Caillou, may I have the whistle, please? 
It's Leo's turn to use it after I wash it. Caillou was surprised and sad. He thought the job of safety helper was his to keep. Oh, that was so much fun! <laughs> Hi, Caillou. Thanks again for being my safety helper yesterday. And you know, it'll be your turn again very soon. But I thought it was going to be my turn every day. I'm sorry if I didn't make that clear. But it's only fair to give everyone a chance, don't you think? I guess so. I knew you'd understand. Now, why don't you go on and play? Okay. But while Caillou was waiting for his turn, he saw something that made him worry. Hey, that's not safe. I thought Leo was safety helper. That doesn't matter. Caillou's right. We sit on the swing so that we don't fall. Sorry, Leo. I wasn't trying to steal your job. That's okay. I didn't even see Jason. Hey. Maybe we should both be safety helpers. Miss Martin, is it okay if Caillou shares my turn being safety helper? Well, that's nice of you, Leo. Caillou, what do you think? I like that idea, but I have a better one. <laughs> now we're all safety stars. It was too big a job for just one person anyway. Now all we need are... Whistles for everybody? <laughs> nice try, Caillou. I don't need a whistle to whistle. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> and that's how Caillou realized it's everyone's job to stay safe. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> One day, Caillou and Leo went shopping with their mothers for a very special gift. Do you think Clementine would like this for her birthday? Yeah, she loves modeling clay. We've decided to give her this puzzle, right, Leo? Leo? If it was my birthday, I'd want this. A rocket ship! Wow, it comes with astronauts and everything. Would Clementine like that? I don't know, but I do. Can I have it, please? Me too. I want one. We're here to buy gifts for Clementine, remember? That's right, Leo. I only plan to buy one toy today. And it's not your birthday. But can I buy it myself? I still have some money Grandpa gave me. It isn't quite enough, honey. Wait, I have money too. Why don't we put our money together and buy one rocket ship to share? Yeah! I still don't know about this. It's hard to share a toy when you don't live in the same house. But we're great at sharing. I can have it one day and then Leo can have it the next day. Yeah! And then you can have it back again and we'll keep sharing it. And who will get it first? Me! 
can have it first. Careful, Caillou. Remember, it's Leo's rocket ship, too. I know, but it's not his turn until tomorrow. Tonight, it's all mine. <laughs> wow, a spaceship! It's a rocket ship. Leo and I bought it with our own money. I can't wait to show it for show and tell. Hi, Clementine. Hi, Caillou. Yay, you brought the rocket ship. It'll be great for show and tell. But I was going to show it. But today is my turn, remember? Oh, right. Okay. <laughs> Mission control to Caillou. Is the rocket ship ready to go into orbit tonight? No. No? Why not? Leo has the rocket ship. It's his turn. It's not fair. He always has the rocket ship when I want it. <laughs> always? But you got it just yesterday. It'll be your turn again tomorrow, Caillou. And you'll see Leo before Clementine's party. Maybe you can both play with the rocket ship. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> There, the astronaut's ready for his spacewalk. Okay, but first I want to land on the moon. But we can't. A rocket ship uses a runway to land. But it's a pretend rocket ship. I know, but we should still make a runway. It's more real that way. <sighs> okay. There! That's a great runway! I'll get the rocket ship! <gasps> What's wrong? <gasps> Pretty! <gasps> Why'd you give it to her? I didn't! She took it! Well, you should have been more careful. Now it's all messed up. It's time for Clementine's party. Are you ready to go have fun? I yeah. guess. They don't sound ready for fun. Ah, I think I know why. Why don't you walk the boys over to the party? Rosie and I have a little cleaning to do. Right, Rosie? Rosie, no scribble? No, not on other people's things. <laughs> my turn, my turn. <laughs> wow, cool. <laughs> Clementine's party was wonderful, but Caillou wasn't having any fun. He thought Leo was still mad at him, and this made Caillou feel bad. He didn't know Leo was feeling bad, too. Mommy? How come you're here early? I brought you something. I thought you and Leo might want to see it. The scribbles are gone! Rosie and I cleaned it up for you. Thank you, Mommy. 